I'm with the Eat More Crab YouTube channel, and I am here today to talk to you guys a little bit about mining cryptocurrency. Let's go ahead and jump right in and see what we got. What's up YouTube, Eat More Crab here. Today I want to show you guys a mining farm that I manage. Um, it's been a huge learning experience. Um, we're running around uh, close to 600 miners. They're all S19 Pros. We have a few S19J Pros down there. Um, these right here, these two and four right here are in Hive OS. Um, I actually have the whole entire farm on Hive OS. Uh, minus these 11 machines right here. Okay, so around 18, 19. We got the hydro cooler right here, or cooled machine here. Um, this is an S19 Pro. Um, this is the second machine I've actually set up. I've had some leaking issues, um, and I don't know what's up with the hash boards. This is the second machine that I have um, basically put these water cooling blocks on um, so this is the second machine I will eventually pull these back out of this machine and I guess go pull another machine with good hash boards and put the water cooling blocks on I do have a 7000 watt overclocking uh, PSU uh, that's not here but I will eventually get that on I've got the uh, connectors for the dummy fans um, of course, in Hive OS, you can do the immersion, which I think turns off the um, exhaust fans or disables it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if I should do a video on rebuilding this and take working ASIC off the shelf and put these water blocks on and as well as put the 7,000 watt power supply on as well. And once we get the unit up and working, uh, we can do some massive overclocking and see how far we can push it. Uh, this is the cooler. Um, the cooler that we have today, uh, or we're using on this machine, is from Zeus Mining. Uh, they've been pretty good with supplying us on a lot of repair parts. Uh, like I say, I'm pretty much the only one managing the whole farm, but um, on top of me having my own personal uh, crypto miners myself, including ASICs, uh, CPU mining, um, Chia, a little bit of Chia, a little bit of everything. But uh, today I just wanted to show you the uh, S19 farm. Um, so this is what we have in the building. Um, I will then show you guys out back where we have uh, two shipping containers and I will go through I have to do a reboot um, on all the machines so I'm gonna kill the power and show you guys some of the machines that I have as well all right so let's go on out to the container one and see what we got okay guys so here are the two containers that we are mining in um, the bottom container is full for the most part um, the container up top we still have some filling around to do so um, hopefully we continue to, to fill all these up of course we have these two shorter co containers I'm not sure on the footage but um, eventually we will be filling these two after we fill the second container but uh, these are the two big power transformers uh, I think we're running uh, like one point to megawatt. I know all the machines are not turned to stock settings. Most of them are underclocked and some are overclocked. So let's go ahead and jump right in and see what we got in container one.
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut all these down. It's super duper loud. Let's go ahead and shut these down and um, let them cool for a minute. Show you guys what we're working with here. frequency drivers turning off for the somewhat gigantic exhaust fan which I don't know something tells me because I mean we've had overheating issues um, since this whole thing has been set up so we have two rows each row holds about 33 miners so we have a total if both rows are maxed out uh, we're looking at 66 miners. I think each miner, according to Bitmain's site, does I think 200 to 500 CFPM. I'm not sure if that's per fan, but the big exhaust fan is definitely, for some reason, moving all the air. Got to a point to where um, I could open the panel of the hot chamber, and as soon as I open it, it just blows out because the hot air is pressurizing and it has nowhere to go because the exhaust fan cannot move it fast enough. That's why we have a lot of the miners under clock using some of the features in Hive OS to help counter some of the issues that we've had down here in the southeast because it does get mighty hot and humid down here. So container one is full for the most part. Um, well, we never actually have all miners running at once there's always going to be a group that is down or that needs this or that a common thing with our large setup that we have is the sd cards i don't know if it's the brand that we're using but i have to go through and pull sd cards out from time to time and reflash and swap the cards out and that way the machine will show back up in hive os because what will happen a lot of the machines will go offline the machine will still be powered on but yeah, it just, it's not reachable. It's not mining. So uh, swapping out SD cards is something. And another thing is I notice a lot too, these PDUs, I'm not sure who makes these. Each outlet is on a 20 amp default breaker. Each PDU is fed, I think it's three phase, but it, and it's a little hot. I think it's 280 volts. So each plug is 20 amp, two PDUs feed one row that holds the 33 miners as you can see there's one missing there probably because it needs new fans or a psu that's common but these default breakers i, th I think it's not because the miner is drawing too much because like i say most of them are underclocked but yeah these particular certain ones they just keep popping out and i think the default breakers are just getting weak and need to ultimately be replaced as you can see i have c19 jumper cables running off of the other pdus so yeah that'll be something to definitely put on the list of getting fixed keep the miners cooler or certain hive os configurations with well, not only the watchdog, but the auto-tune feature with, you know, if the miner gets to a certain temperature, then, you know, ultimately lock down a certain number of profiles automatically. But yeah, it's all been a learning experience, but ultimately it's been, it's been fun. So in the second container up top, there are less miners. That's gonna be where my personal ASIC miners are located at and i'll be able to show you i know all these are bitmain the basic miners that i have are gold shell but i'll show you those um here in just a few all right so we'll go ahead and fire these back up the exhaust fans also forgot to mention uh i've been getting a lot of bolts that are a lot better with the door off so maybe it allows the hot air to expand and come out a little bit I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments though. All right, we're gonna be firing all the rigs back up. Make sure all default breakers are on. Oh. 
off the top, so let's go. Rock and roll. So here we go, we are at container number two. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing for this container. Container two, I know I've got some boxes in the way. So, I turned them all off except for, uh, well, I thought I left fan number two on. I'll turn that back on. Okay. Might get a little noisy in here, um, but I uh, didn't turn off the gold chill miners. Those are actually been, I actually just rebooted these the other day, but yeah. So, um, this is the HS5 Mining SE Prime. My KD6 mining Cadena, and this one is the CK5 mining Nervos. Uh, this one down here, I think, is yes, it's another HS5 mining SE Prime, and I have a KD5 mining Cadena. So I've got about 44 terahash in Cadena, around 12 terahash on Nervos and around 10.8 terahash in the SE Prime. All right, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start turning all these miners back on. Uh, like I said, we had a couple shelves that are, that are empty. Uh, I'm just basically running the other exhaust fan because, uh, you know, any extra heat that comes out of the hot chamber, uh, this fan or any of the other empty bays hopefully will suck it up or any hot excess heat that can't will go out so um but yeah yeah this is a lot of fun guys i really hope to bring some more content to you guys i should probably turn the big exhaust fans on but they're not gonna it's not like they're gonna start mining right away um in fact it seems like on high bos it takes forever for them to start mining versus the stock Bitmain software. Uh, I don't know, I could be wrong. That's what it seems like. Um, all right, so I think that is it uh, for this video. Um, I do appreciate your time watching this and give me a thumbs up, drop down some comments or uh, any ideas that you have on containing some of the heat. Now, all right, guys. Uh, that's gonna, gonna 